at all these poor knocked down trees. This forest is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Technically, it won't even be a forest once the trees are gone. Gone? They're just laying down. Watch, strength power! Rosie, that won't help these trees. They're still broken. Lavender's right. You can't just shove a cut tree back in the ground. It won't survive. Wait, the trees are down forever? Forever. No way, not on my watch, no way. No more falling trees. We're talking to whoever's in charge. Ride, Rangers, ride! That's Preston Praxton's logo. He's the one knocking down all the trees. Unbelievable. Actually, remarkably believable. <laughs> Look at me, knocking down trees. I'm the king of the forest. Huh? What's that, Belly? You're hungry? Oh, I can never say no to you. I'm hungry. Well, knock down the rest of these trees when my belly is full. I guess the rest of you can eat lunch, too. Rangers, you're getting sneakier. Usually I can smell you coming. Stop cutting down trees, Preston. No more. Actually, much more. I am knocking down this entire forest to put in the biggest, wettest water park in history. Soggy World! Soggy World? Strength power! Lavender, our mission is helping the bears, and the bears need the trees. The beetles need the trees, too. Lavender! What? I'm just asking why the beetles are the ones who have to leave. Why not the bears? The beetles are just being beetles. It's not like they mean any harm. Exactly! If the beetles stay, what's the worst that could happen? Anna! Look out! I've got to help my friend. Lavender? I can't hear you. Something's making a really loud noise. <gasps> oh, no! Glitter flower, metro power! Oh. Great power! Got it! Floof, floof, floof. We're all okay. You both saved me. Of course, Anna. That's what rangers do. Sure. I mean, technically, Lavender just tackled you, and I saved both of you, but, you know, similar. Now do you see how dangerous it is to have the beetles in the forest? I do. But still, eating bark is what these beetles do. They don't really mean to cause trouble. Then maybe they don't have to. What if the beetles and bears share the forest? And put them far apart enough that if the beetle trees fall, the bears won't be in danger? Exactly. Let's see what they say. <laughs> Well? They say yes! <laughs> yeah! Never forget me, my beetles! I know I'll never forget you! <laughs> I'm glad you'll be safe. We'll miss you. Homeward bound, Rangers! When troubles come, we're on the way! Rainbow Rangers save the day! This storm is already worse than it looked at home! And look! The poor butterflies can barely hold on!
her name, says with this much wind they can't fly and they won't make it to Mexico. Maybe the wind will die down. Ah! Okay, sorry I mentioned it. I wish Phoebe were here. She could construct a maximum shelter. <gasps> or we could make a shelter ourselves. <gasps> and start stretching. Perfect. Now we'll cover the tree. is simply too young to fly. Her wings aren't strong enough. Maybe not, but mine are. Patty, you don't have wings. Sure I do. Drone wings. Patty, the bird doesn't even have hands. She can't work the controls. Of course not, Sally. I'll harness the bird to the drone. Then I can fly it wherever she wants it to go. You want to harness this sweet baby bird to your demolition drone? I have to admit, it's the most logical solution we've got. And as for the harness... Constructo-Max, construct a harness! You'll do great, and we'll be right behind you! Give us liftoff, please, Patty. Count the Patty knocked the bird out of her nest in the first place. Shh! It's a moment of beautiful triumph. Don't step on it. Question: How do we get her out of the harness? Mama won't let us near the baby. I borrowed a concept from Preston. <gasps> a booby trap? Not exactly. show that fire who's boss. Floof! It's a park ranger. He probably wants to thank us. No need to thank us, park ranger. Just doing our jobs. Thank you. I want to know why you put out that fire. To save the forest from total destruction? But that wasn't a destructive fire. There's another kind? Yes. That was a controlled burn. Of course! A controlled burn is essential to keeping a forest healthy. Park rangers start a fire, then control how it burns. Floof? I'm with Floof. I thought fires were bad. A controlled fire cleans the forest floor of excess brush and dried leaves. That stops real wildfires from starting and getting out of control. It's a great way to protect the trees in this forest. Some of our giant sequoias have been here for thousands of years. So, you wanted the fire? He needed it. Exactly. 
Now the park is in danger of a real forest fire that we won't be able to control. Oh no, then we'd have to save those elk all over again. Elk? What elk? That's why we came. We have to rescue a mommy and baby elk from the fire. No, we cleared this forest and thought we'd get all the animals out. We never would have put them in danger. I've heard of this happening. Even when you clear a forest, sometimes animals hide and end up in serious danger. This is bad. I need to get the controlled burn started again. Today, before the wind kicks up. But if more animals are hiding... Then we'll find them! New Mission Rangers!